Peace, family. Peace. Yo, family, this is actually going to be a quick one. It's going to be about 15 minutes, yeah? But I want everyone to come on in. And I want you guys to see exactly what's going down. Family, people are triggered, okay? People are actually triggered. I'm telling you, people are going crazy to the point where they've got to start slandering. Right, I'm going to read you something, people, yeah? I'm actually going to read something to you to let you understand exactly the type of slander that certain people deal with, okay? And how backwards, yeah, certain people's ideology can be to the fact that they're so emotionally led that they're actually not making any actual sense of what's actually going on, okay? Family, I'm telling you, yeah? I'm going to read, yeah? Now listen, everybody knows, everybody knows, yeah, that I've done an interview with Tommy Robinson, but no one's privy to the interview, okay? There are two interviews coming out, one for Tommy Robinson's channel and one for my channel. Now you know, yeah, that I'm the only one, really and truly, right, who does things the way a doink does them. So you know that my interview is going to be fire. Okay, you know how it's going to go down. But anyway, fam, family, I'm going to actually pull up this um, this Instagram post from Muhammad Hijab. And I want you guys to read the slander. Kiss Spence up in the building was good. I want you lot to read the slander that's actually going on right about now. Family, come on in, man. There's 11 of you in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Seriously. Have a... Like, seriously. So... The first thing, I'm, this is quotes now from the actual post on Muhammad Hijab's Instagram. Yeah? This is a quote. Black supremacist Sarah Garvey and neo, neo fascist Tommy Robinson. That's how he starts the actual thing. So I'm a black supremacist now. Yeah? Remember, according to this post. And Tommy Robinson is a neo fascist. Now, I'm telling you, I'm breaking this stuff down. You need to go on Muhammad um, Hijab's uh, Instagram, yeah? And look at this post. Because the guy is slandering, yeah? He's slandering, yeah? Because I don't understand. No one knows what the interview's about. So how are you going to make such a judgment of the promo? And I know the promo is fire. I know you understand this promo is fire. But people are actually making a, a judgment now off of the promo. So now look. It's what he says. It's interesting that Tommy, yeah, is a is has um, aligned with a man who thinks black skin is superior to white skin to attack Islam. Huh? What? Huh? When have I ever said black skin is superior to white skin? So one is that's two slander now. That's 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 two strikes. You've called me a black supremacist and you've called Tommy Robinson yeah a neo fascist yeah. Then you said that I think that um black skin is superior to white skin i've never said such a thing i've never actually said such a thing so that's two let's see what he says these two enemies of islam you know what that means in it family you know what someone's trying to do when they try to say you're an enemy of islam they said it to callum they, they actually did that to callum called him an enemy of islam they're actually slyly trying to um uh, cause violence. That's what they're trying to try, trying to do. When you say you're an enemy of Islam, right? So, what, did, what 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 did he finish with? What did he finish with? Tommy will be at Speaker's Corner. Yeah, he said at 3 p.m. He will team up with Kemets, a black supremacy group who call white people evil by biological nature. What? What? That like, what? Where are you getting this stuff? Like, who are you, first of all, who are you getting this stuff from? Where are you getting this stuff? We, Kemets, think that white people are evil by biological nature. What the hell are you talking about? Who the hell just hit my car? Someone just hit my car, you know. But I'm going to continue. Hey, what the hell? You saying bumper to bumper? Shit. They're lucky I'm doing a, a, a live right now. Um, so yeah, he said that... He, remember, no one's seen the interview yet. People are triggered, yeah? They're triggered just by the promo. 
The promo, you know. Nobody actually knows what is actually in the interviews. But these guys are telling people that Tommy Robinson is going to align himself with Kemets, who I quote, a black supremacy group who call white people evil by biological nature. What are you talking about, fam? I understand this. He's called, yo, everyone is in the house. Uh, listen, thank you for being here. We're, we're just, it's, it's a quick one, family. It's a quick, quick one. But how can, just think about it. He calls me a black supremacist at, at the beginning of the quote. Go to Muhammad Hijab's Instagram and read this message. He calls me a black supremacist at the beginning of the quote. Begin the comment, and he calls now um, Tommy Robinson a neo-fascist. So let's th think, let's think of a spectrum. Black supremacists here, yeah. Neo-fascist here. So they're at totally two, like opposite ends of the spectrum. But apparently, Tommy is going to align himself with these people who think that black skin is superior by biological nature. Really, that makes sense to you, yeah. That's what makes sense to you in your world. I swear, people, man, the slander is real. The people are triggered, man. And I'm telling you, people you know, the interview is gonna be fire. But nobody knows what it, what's going on in the interview. It's only a few people that are privy to what has gone in the interview. But the fact that he thinks that we've come together, yeah? The fact that we think we've come together to align ourselves together Anyway, you guys will see the interview anyway, do you know? You'll actually see in the interview, and you once the interview comes out, you will see how stupid that comment is. You will actually see how stupid that comment actually is. Because, I said, there's two interviews. One on Tommy's channel. Tommy wanted certain content for his channel, yeah? He wants to know about Speaker's Corner, and etc., etc. But for my channel now, I actually got to interview Tommy Robinson. And I got to ask him some burning questions that were on my mind and were on the mind of the peoples, black people specifically. Okay? So don't think this is some, you know, oh, Sarah, he's just going to, you know, pander to people and ask the questions that everybody wants that, that, that the mainstream want to answer. No, you lot already know me already. When I go in, I go in. Okay? And I will ask questions even if people feel a little bit uncomfortable with the questions. And that don't mean that and nobody is... Um, Nobody can run from the questions I answer. I will answer. I will ask questions to everyone, just to make them uncomfortable. I will ask them the most uncomfortable questions to see if they're really about standing on their square. And that's I'm telling you that is what happened in my interview. But I'm telling you, you guys have to tune in. In a couple of days' time, the interviews will be out. Yeah, they were out in a couple of days' time. It's it's basically a it's a race. It's an editing race now. Everyone's editing their interviews now. Yeah, I'm editing mine, you know, and Tommy's editing his. So I said, there's two interviews. Yeah, a couple of days, you don't got to wait. This is a build up now. This is like, you know, this is like a boxing match build up. Do you know what I'm saying? This is there's a build up going on, guys. You know, we got we got to get you lot like, you know, ready for the thing. So listen, family, family, let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> People said what I said. Dwayne Dawes said I'm ordering my I'm ordering my uh, ordering food to eat from now. Order your food, guys. Get the popcorn in. Yeah, get the drinks ready for the interview because when that drops, it's fire. Set the internet alight with that. Yeah, set the internet alight. Set it ablaze. Hello, popcorn, <laughs> bro. But I'm telling you guys, yeah. Listen, the slander is already started. And I can't understand how Because I was saying to myself But Ali Dawa actually wanted to debate Tommy Robinson He wanted to debate Tommy Robinson So if they made a promo of Ali Dawa Debating Tommy Robinson Would would the same um, Stuff sort of been Would the same stuff would have been said? No Because Ali Dawa can sit down with Tommy Robinson, right? Apparently But Sarah can't Let me tell you something, yeah This interview Is going to be fire yeah, it's going to be fire. I told people I don't run from questions. I don't run from people. I go straight. I go straight for the heart. I don't care. Go, family, 64 people up in here. Eight likes. Come on, come on, come on. Like up the thing, like up the thing, like up the thing. Um. So, yeah, I don't run from anyone. I know the suspense is killing you, Jim Black. I know, I know, Jim. Jim, you gotta wait. You just gotta wait, fam. 
Yeah, you gotta wait. In a couple days, maybe a day or so, maybe it might drop before the before Sunday, just before Speaker's Corner. You might have something to talk about. Who knows? Who knows? I'm keeping you in suspense. I'm building this thing up. We're still editing though, so it's not like it's done and it's ready to go. It's still being edited. Okay. A doink vision, the visual genius, is doing his thing on my interview. Okay. Tommy Robertson's people on his end are doing his thing on his interview. Like I said, family, there are two separate interviews that have gone down. Okay. Two separate ones. I interview Tommy. Tommy interviews me. Right? So I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 72 people up in here. Like up the thing, people, man. I'm telling you, man. The, 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 the trolls are out now. And um, the, um, the, the response, especially from the Muslim end, has been interesting. I said, go and look at the slander that's going on already. I'm going to read this again. It's interesting that Tommy has um, associated with a man who thinks black skin is superior to white skin to attack Islam. Tommy will team up with the Kemets, a black supremacy group who call white people evil by biological nature. What? What are you talking about? Who has said this stuff? Like, who has said this stuff? Where? Please, quote. And first of all, first, oh, sorry, just, uh, I got about like, five minutes left. Who, this term Kemets, yeah, has actually been made, not by us. We say we follow the philosophies, some of the philosophies of, of, Kem, of, of Kemet, but the term Kemets, it's like you're boxing us in. And the thing is, what I've noticed is, if, they, if, if people can't figure out what kind of box you're in, they'll just create one for you and put you in there and say that's what you are, right? And I'm saying, listen, I am an African. Tommy knows this, trust me. <laughs> you like that on the interview? And I'll tell people, I told people before, and I, I don't mind nationalism. I do not mind nationalism. What is it? Uh, yeah, I do not mind nationalism. Yeah? Because if I'm a nationalist and you're a nationalist, yeah, we probably got something in common. That don't mean we're friends. And that don't mean we can actually have different views. Yeah? We can actually have different views and agree to disagree. We ain't got to start killing one another. We ain't got to start killing one another for it. But we can actually have different views. And trust me, people, when you see that, you might see some different views. You know what I'm saying? You might just see some different views. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not giving you lot the gossip. Do you get what I'm saying? It was a fire interview, yeah. And tonight, I'm telling you tonight, Callum on Titans TV and Gabs are going to be doing a show. So just put, go over to Titans TV and subscribe. They're gonna be doing a show on this, on the hijab thing, because I think Callum is quite upset, you know, about what hijab said. Yeah, and what? But because all this stuff about biologically superior supremacist stuff, and then linking it to the people that follow kemetic philosophy, you can find nothing within kemetic philosophy that says this. Nothing whatsoever. But because of the emotional response, yeah, people are actually emotional right now. Yeah, they're emotionally responding to stuff, but they're not bringing you any facts. How are you gonna? How are you gonna make a comment? On a interview that you haven't even seen And I said people I said this to people before Stop following fake news Allow people to speak for themselves And then make a judgement What they're attempting to do now Is create a narrative And nothing's already Nothing's been put out Nothing's been put out Yeah Nothing has been put out Yet and still There's a narrative How is there a narrative And you have don't even know What went down in the interview That doesn't even make sense it doesn't even make sense that you're talking about the interview, yeah? And you don't know what went down in it. But it's because you're triggered. It's because you're triggered, yeah? And so, like I said, you know, I might be doing some more interviews, yeah? With some other folks that people are going to be like, oh, what's that? Because I want to, I told people already, I want to see what's in the minds of people, yeah? I really want to see what's in the minds of people. Only then can I make a judgment on that person and their politics but I want the family to see what's in the minds of people and I have a way of asking questions that can draw out what people are thinking and you can see people and then you can decide or not you know whether you like them or not that's up to you but I'm telling you family just watch the slander and watch the propaganda campaign 
Because the thing's not even out yet. The thing's not even out yet. But people have actually got an opinion on it. How, how is that? That's exactly what I spoke about in my last video. That's exactly what I spoke about. And people are falling for it. And that's why I'm telling you, there are some very low IQ individuals out in this world who allow themselves to be dictated to and a narrative to be drawn from them. And they say, oh, I don't like that person. Why don't you like them? Because so-and-so said they're so-and-so. Okay, cool. So-and-so said they're so-and-so. But have you actually watched what they said? No, I haven't. So how the hell you got an opinion on that? And you ain't watched it. You haven't even watched it. You don't even know what's in there and you got an opinion on it. I don't get it. You're stupid. <laughs> You're actually stupid. <laughs> oh, family. I'm hype. I'm not going to lie. That promo, shout out to a doink again for that promo. Because that promo is fire. Okay, that promo is fire. So, yeah, family, i got to peace out right about now, man. i got things to do. I'm going to do Sarah's opinion desk soon because I haven't done that in a while. And then I'll answer your lots of questions and all this kind of stuff. And then, you know, we can actually have like more of an interaction. But I just needed to get this out just needed to get it out family so like we say the, the chronicles of sarah garvey last verse or the last chapter peace family peace